All right, someone says, I have a question for my B9S4. I'm currently running full E85 since it's released. Is there a new oil internal I'm supposed to change? Oh, interval. Oil. Um, you know, I don't know. I mean, generally, if you're driving a lot harder than you used to be, uh, you know, like if you're on track, track driving, typically necessitates more frequent oil changes due to the, just the increased load and heat. Um, I think there's something to be said if you're in a really like dusty, dirty climate. I mean, you know. I, I think the major, the main question is, you know, 85 versus gasoline. Oh, okay. Uh, right. Right. You know, it's, it's there a shorter time interval. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. generally you are how you, it's kind of a, you've got more fuel mass going through the motor. You're going to get a little more fuel, you know, um, dilution in the oil. So, yeah, typically with the 85 stuff, you do you know, want to shorten your intervals a little bit. You know, what that is, how, you know, we, we don't have we don't have a hard number to find. We, don't. we, we do recommend typically, like John said, shorter inter intervals often than uh, what the OEM recommends. So, you know, if they're recommending 10 or 15K, um, you know, yeah, you want to bring that down to 7,500 to uh, 5, depending on what you're doing and how hard you're driving it. We've just changed the oil after 12,000 miles, two track days on the SQ5, sent it out to Blackstone. Okay. Yeah. So we'll have some more data around that. It sounds like Nick, from what Nick was just saying, like we just did a 12,000 mile, 12,000 mile? 12,000 mile. 12,000 yeah. 12, mile oil change on the SQ5, which has been on E85 for a, a probably, three months. yeah, for probably maybe like half of that or so. Uh, low. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we'll have some better. I mean, the thing about oil changes is they're, if you do them yourself, they're really cheap. Yeah, I mean, they're not that expensive. And I think the factory intervals are pretty long. Mm -hmm. uh, although with, you know, synthetic oil these days, there's, there's justification for it, for the factory recommendations. But I think most performance car people probably, you know, that there's the old adage about every 3,000 miles. That's, that's way too frequent these days. Uh, unless you're track driving or something, or you have like, I don't even think E85 would have said anything like that. But I think if you wanted to go half, you can't, it can't, it can't hurt. And that's typically what every couple months uh, yeah, for a lot of people, people, you know, depending on how much you drive, but it could be every six months, you know, which isn't much. So, but yeah, I, we, we've definitely had some concerns here on some of our E85 cars with getting, possibly watering down the oil and stuff. With well, it's, yeah, yeah, anything that runs, you know, it's, it's, you're running more fuel through the motor, regardless yeah. of what fuel is. So, um, okay. Um, yeah, and then, you know, this is kind of across the board with multiple manufacturers, depending on how they kind of design their user manuals and their, their setups. But, you know, a lot of <clears> times, you know, if you're towing or something like that, you've got a vehicle under sustained load for any given amount of time. There, there are multiple different service intervals. You know, our, our truck here, you know, tracks the mileage, how much you're towing versus how much you're not. And we'll tell you, you know, I think it's down to 3,000 miles if all you do is tow with it. Mm -hmm. And then up to 10,000 if you don't do any towing. I guess what that one is. So, yeah, it's oil changes kind of, you, you got to kind of know your car, know your use. You can, you can calibrate it to that. Yeah, and you can send oil out to be analyzed um, to, to give you a little bit more of a, discrete uh data points when you're doing it um 